Alrighty guys, welcome to the vlog. Okay, listen, I got something really cool today. Starting the vlog on my Canon camera. Here's the gimbal. Check this out. Watch this. Watch, you ready? Watch. Now this is my Canon camera. I'm gonna show you how all this movement here is possible in just a second. Ready? I'm gonna switch to this, ready? Look at that thing. Look at that thing, guys. Check it out. I can turn it, I can move it. Oh, wrong, wrong way, Mikey. It's a robotic, it's a robotic arm. Holy cow. You guys are gonna die when you see this. Here's the controller, check that out. Yeah, fun, let's look at it. Okay, so first and foremost, let's check out the box. Check this out. It's a sharper image, full function, wireless control, robotic arm, jumbo grip claw. And I'm going to show you how much power that claw has in just a second. Here's all the details. 2.4 gig, and it has tank treads on it, guys. Holy cow. Let's look at the back of the box real quick like we always do. And see if there's anything different. It says raises, raises objects 15 inches off the ground. Guys, this thing, I've been playing with it. It'll grab anything and pick anything up. So, let's, uh, oh, stuff falling out of my tree. So, let's check it out. Okay, so what we have here is a sharper image tank with an arm. Now, I'm going to take my camera off of it. See, I got the camera up there. Watch this. So there I am. So you could actually take this and use it as a pan. Look down and up. You can do anything with it. It's really, really cool. So you could actually take this and use it as a pan. Look down and up. You can do anything with it. It's really, really cool. There it is. Check it out. I'm gonna leave the camera set right here. And I'm gonna show you what this thing will do. So it's got tank treads. Ready? Watch. That'll go down. It articulates there and here. So if you can see, you can come way down here and the claw spins. See it spinning there? So, technically, we could... Okay, is this all the way open? That's all the way open. I don't know if the claw is gonna be big enough, but we will see. Let's shut the claw, see if it's... Nope, it's gonna slip out, guys. Yeah, okay, so. Well, you can see there I've crushed the can a little bit because the hand is not quite big enough to get around it. So we'll see if we can't get it this way. All right, here we go. There it is. And as you see, pick it right up. And the arm articulates in a bunch of, in just those two points. This point here, and this point here. Now if you're looking, this joint, this pivot point right here does not move. But all the other ones do. So that's the only one that doesn't. You can take this to your buddy that's over there. You can take it to your buddy, and then you can reach it, reach it over to him like this. Actually, we can set it right back on the ground, just as level as we got it, just like that. Open it up, and there you go. 
Okay, guys, you can see there the gears working on the inside in there. Hold on, let me turn it back just a little bit. You can see it right there. Right about there, you can see it. See the gears right there on the inside working? It's got an LED light, so you can shine on whatever you're trying to grip. It's got a great little grip. It, the tank part works surprisingly well. It goes over anything. I mean, it's got great torque. So it will go over grass, as you see. And of course, front back, spin left, spin, or, yeah, spin right, spin left. And out here on the concrete, you can tell that it's, um, that rubber has a little bit of hard time moving around on the concrete, but it's not, it's not the engines, it's just the rubber on the concrete that make it spin so. The engines are quite strong. The grip is great. Really cool. Really cool. Now, I'll flip the camera around and tell you a little more about it in just a second. Now, this that's about everything to show you it's basically a robotic arm from sharper image that has one two three four articulating points spins around the claws grip you can grab anything if you had it in your house you could like pick it i don't know i was trying to figure out a way you know me and you're always trying to figure out a way to make stuff cool you could put a gopro on it with the wi-fi and then you could like have it go to the living room and pick stuff up that you don't feel like walking to the living room to get because it really does go over everything pretty cool pretty cool pretty cool toy from walmart and guys i'm about oh it's got a leaf caught in it And I'm about to tell you the best part about this whole thing. Check that out. Isn't that just the coolest setup ever? You can drive it around. You can film stuff. It'll hold your camera up. It's really cool. As a matter of fact, there's kids playing next door. But as a matter of fact, um, I'm going to drive it down the walkway here with the camera on and let you see what I mean. Hold on just a second. show you there you go watch it's strong enough to hold the camera in its grip and bend down like that isn't that pretty cool I mean you can move it any which way that's about as tall as she gets the wrong way there. Look at the pretty skies above. Look at the pretty skies above. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Pretty cool stuff. All right, guys, so thanks for joining the vlog. I saved this part to the very end, the price. Walmart. Guys, look at it. It's carrying my camera around. Look. Walmart, $34.88. Going in the budget reviews, guys. Going in the budget reviews and one with two, two thumbs up. I've been playing with it for two days straight. Oh, one thing I do want to mention is it does not have rechargeable batteries. It come, You have to buy four, uh, four D batteries go in it and one 9 volt in the controller. So that's a little pricey, but it's not like this isn't like a, a remote control truck that you're going to be playing with all the time. This is sort of like a, you know, something to, to fool around with in the house, pick stuff up. My, can, my, my Canon camera is auto powering off right now. See the, the arms holding it. But anyways, Rob. 
Yes, you can. I've never done a review of my Phantom 3 standard. I just read the little thing up there. Um, I read the comment as you were commenting as I was doing this video. Um, yeah, yeah, I'll do one. Um, I have to do, I still have to do the review on uh, the X5SW that John won. Um, it was got a little dark tonight, so I didn't do that tonight. Uh, it's about to be dark right now. Um, but yes, give me, like, let's see, tomorrow, I may, it's either going to be the Phantom 3 and then the SEMA, or the SEMA and then the Phantom 3, probably tomorrow on Monday, we'll see, I want to get that shipped off to John on Monday, so, I might do the SEMA tomorrow, I might wait till Monday to do, you guys don't need to know about this, I'm sitting there rambling to you about this, but, um, Rob, yeah, I'll do it, buddy. John, yours is getting shipped out Monday. And thanks for joining the vlog. I'll see you tomorrow. Maybe we'll have something else cool. I don't know. Check that thing out. That's the coolest thing I've seen in a long time right here. I, I really enjoy it. Um, all the functions work great. So two thumbs up, guys. Thanks. See you tomorrow.